You okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? Your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed-up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got sh- on the computers. There's a tip jar, jackass. Resist the bargain. Excuse me! Calculating route. Shit! Is everyone okay? Hell! Ah. 
50 yards. Turn left. Then immediately left. Turn right. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You were getting close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. Stupid car to try to kidnap me in! You ain't going nowhere! Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. So much trouble, Limp Dick. My daddy loves his little girl. Sorry, shitballs! Fuck you, bitch! Later, dick face! You're fucking annoying! I'm gonna sick of you, you creep! That makes two of us! I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up, piece of glass. What up, Rasta? Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Mensch, yeah? No kidding. There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious calf. Go 
Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. As well, tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you, done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quiet, Mr. Pegorino. I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire. <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire. I raised that kid like he was my own! I beat him! value nurses properly and pay us more? You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, God Look complex thingy. Man. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Watch out for those cops. They're down the hall acting like they own the place. He's not looking too good, Doc. Can I have some time alone with my patient? You can have one minute. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, ah, shit, Nico. You here to see the boss? Go to sleep, Anthony. You look tired. Tell Peg. Uh, I'm sorry. Bro, yo! You 
should have stayed away from a man such as me. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico.
my favorite girl. We need a picture of Grace. Her pop. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But feel, and I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the fetch. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife. And she was smart enough to rule my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. A soul, boss. It's a ghost house. back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. Okay, I had word from Frankie, my nephew, that no one's been paying undue attention to the age we cook off the triads. We're gonna go pick it up. I thought that was a wedding present for your nephew. He's my nephew to my ex-wife. I might give him work sometimes, but I ain't gonna give him the slow reports. He wants anything except a bit of muscle work? He can ask the bitch to take it out of the divorce cell. Fuck. Come. You had, uh, any more girlfriends since the ex-wife? If you're getting smart about seeing Angie at my place, then you can button it. The two of us is just friends. We talk. We both gotta take a lot of shit from Jimmy, and it helps to speak about it. I wasn't making no accusations. Yeah? Well, that's something that Ray likes to run his mouth about. Ray runs his mouth so much that no one pays much attention to what comes out of it. <laughs> I'd believe it. I'd be dead already if Jimmy P listened to anything he said about me. The 
If only the fans knew how full of shit most wise guys were. Then maybe you wouldn't have such problems with people turning states. The fans know that wise guys run their mouths. They love it. The fans don't care if he's taking someone down on a legitimate beat or if it's total bullshit. As long as he can get his face in the news, and a blowjob from his wife is happy. Fuck.
got more company! This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pit for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys, shit, I'm sorry. Gets harder every time. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in a safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Beccarino family's head above water. See you for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. Sorry, your shift ain't over, Gordo. I'm just here for some holiday pics. <laughs> Don't cause me no more trouble. Look up here. <laughs> daddy! Not unless that guy is into some sick shit. Later on, Packy. Pull over! Oh, 
Thanks, Dick. I'm robbing you. Don't freak out. Fuck it, just take it. Where to? Ordner Evan. Let's do it. Thanks a lot. about conflict resolution in here, pal. Out of the car. You must want me. Pull that piece of shit. Shit. I'm tired already. Come on, Whoa. quick. Get out of there. Cabron, get your hands off me. Yo, you Sit back that? and enjoy the ride. To Albany Avenue. Jill Van Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. Don't make me late to school. Here we are. It's a wrap. You got your hands on Ancelotti's daughter. What's it to you? It wouldn't be nothing, except I know that Ancelotti ain't gonna pay up. It's her pal, Gay Tony, that's coughing up with my damn ice. The diamonds that got robbed off you and the Libertonian, well, we took it off Tony in the first place, but it should've ended there. He must have robbed the diamonds off of Isaac. I got the money robbed off of me by a biker, remember? The diamonds were sold. Don't get small with me. Get me them diamonds off Tony. The Irish will be square with that, and you'll be square with me. We're already square. Can I take you? So we need to go. I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here.
around hey, with these guys oh, that can't even think up. straight. So yeah, he's think there he is. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree. I want you to pay our friend Ray a visit. Give him a message from me. You gotta sit down on Card Row in East Harlem. If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done.
The meeting went to plan, Mr. Pegorino. Cleaning house is a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind, it's so clean. I'll talk to you soon.